Hi and welcome to Creators Web Design video blog. In the news this week is the release of Apple's new iPad computer. The iPad looks to be what everybody's been expecting, a new device that fits into the gap between an iPhone and a MacBook. Is there a gap though? There is much debate as to whether looking around yet another device is going to be practical, especially when you consider that the iPad doesn't really replace your smartphone or laptop. The iPad could become a valuable tool for web designers, acting as a great presentation tool for showcasing web design prototypes. However, the iPad operating system is only a similar version of the iPhone, meaning that the first generation of iPads will not be running a full version of OS X. Tablet computers are tipped to be big this year. A BBC report that we read a week ago suggests that tens of millions will be sold in 2010. When you look at the features, spec and particularly the prices, it's easy to see the appeal. If the iPad really takes off, the App Store could begin to offer light versions of Microsoft Office and perhaps even Creative Suite 5. But until then, we don't believe web designers will be queuing out of the door to get their hands on one. For this week's web design tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create image submit buttons in HTML and also how to use rollovers. So for reference, I've uh, made this file available on our supporting blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog. Um, all the files are in here that I'm using for this demonstration. So to start with, I've made a very simple form in HTML and it's got a uh, default submit button. So let's open this up in Dreamweaver. Again, you can open this up in uh, Notepad or any uh, HTML editor you may have. And you can see the standard submit button is just an input field type instead of submit. So to change your submit button to a custom image, it's actually very straightforward. Um, all you have to do is just change type submit to type image and then add an extra attribute to source the submit button that you'd like to use. So I've prepared submit up. Then if we refresh our web page, you'll see that our new red submit button is there in place of the previous submit button. So uh, as a first stage, that looks uh, obviously a lot better, but what you can also do very simply, again in the HTML, is create a rollover effect, which is quite a nice call to action for people uh, using the website. So to do this, all you have to do is paste in a little bit of extra HTML, which is on mouse behaviors. So on mouse over this dot SRC equals, and then source your over state graphic, and then on mouse out, which when you take your mouse off the submit button, it will return to the original up state. So I'll save that, and then if we re uh, refresh the page again, you'll see that this rolls over to a green state, which works as quite a nice call to action for your submit buttons. So um, I'll save this file now, and again, I've said I'll make this available on the blog for copying and pasting. Last week we introduced the first of our website design tips for business owners. Tip number two this week is how to effectively use .com domain names for UK businesses. Not a lot of people realise that domain choice can have a long-term impact on your organic search engine optimization campaign. Country-specific domain names work better within the searches for that country. For example, purchasing a UK domain name for your UK business is a lot more effective than choosing a .net domain name. Today, .com domains are vaguely associated with American businesses. However, companies worldwide, the UK included, still adopt the uh, .com brand. If you're a UK business and your primary domain name is a .com, there is one important factor that you should consider. Search engines, Google in particular, automatically associate .co.uk domain names with the UK. The same principle applies worldwide. For example, .e domain names are associated with Germany and .fr with France. TLDs, or top-level domain names like .com, .net and .orgs, are treated differently. Google and other search engines have to rely on which country the website is hosted in in order to associate the website with its country. So, for example, if you're in the UK using a .com domain name, you must ensure that your hosting server is physically in the United Kingdom. If you use a company like fastsource.co.uk, this is not a problem, as they are a British company and all their servers reside in London. One on One, however, is a German company, and as a result, their servers are in Germany. Looking at their homepage, one on one.co.uk, this isn't instantly obvious. If your website is a .com, with one on one, for example, your website will rank in the UK version of Google. However, if you went to the German Google, google.de, you will not probably notice it ranks better there. To allow search engines to correctly associate your .com domain name with your correct country, you must check that the hosting provider you choose has its servers in your country. Thanks for watching this week. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them on our YouTube channel or on our supporting blog post.